by now, you've heard me talk about one of the big steps in truly feeling at peace around food being releasing restrictions around food. So instead of physically restricting yourself from eating certain foods or amounts of foods, instead of deciding what, when, and how much to eat based on what you think you should do, you're instead teaming up with and listening to your own body's signals and cues and what would feel good in it. Now there's of course a whole lot more to it than just that. And even getting to that point when you've been following diets and shooting yourself for so long, but a question that I see pop up a lot around this is around food allergies and food sensitivities. Like, what do you do if you've been told that you can't eat something because you have an allergy to it? Or you need to go on a medically necessary diet? Can I still release the food rules? Can I still release restrictions? Can I still eat intuitively? So having a bunch of food sensitivities myself, this is absolutely a totally valid concern. And my big answer to it is yes. So here's why. The number of people with food allergies and food sensitivities has been on a steady rise and it just continues to grow. Now there's a lot of reasons behind this that I won't go into, but at least high level, I wanna make sure you know this is normal, it's even expected, that there's some foods that we once ate and enjoyed just fine to start causing us problems at one point in our lives. Like whole wheat bread, Greek yogurt, um, lentils, eggs, Brussels sprouts, soy sauce, all these foods are healthy, right? but not for me. Through getting food sensitivity testing done and listening to my body, I've learned that all of those foods make me feel some form of badly when I eat them. So to me, they are not healthy. Usually it's a lot of bloating, but I do not restrict myself around them. I don't tell myself I can't or shouldn't have them. I don't consider them off limits. Instead, I know that I can have them whenever I want. And that part is key. So hear me out. We know that restriction equals feeling out of control around food, right? When we restrict ourselves, it kind of puts that food up on a pedestal. It creates this power and pull around it. It makes us want it even more, think about it all the time, crave it. And when we finally do get our hands on it, we feel out of control around it. So that doesn't really seem like the best approach for something you'd rather not be eating, right? So instead, think of it as a mindset shift. Think of it as a mindset play, right? Rather than putting those foods as off limits or telling myself I can't or shouldn't have them or that they're bad, I take the power back and instead I make mindful choices based on how I want to feel. So instead of I can't have the pizza, it's bad, it's if I eat this pizza, I'm going to feel super bloated and tired. I don't want to feel that way, so I'm choosing not to have it. Now this only works if your body truly believes and knows that you could eat that if you really wanted to. That part is key so that your body doesn't feel restricted and deprived. So those urges around those foods vanish. You're able to easily make empowered choices and feel great about the choices that you are making. You're not giving up control. You're actually taking control back. You're being mindful. You're being present. You're, you know, taking ownership of your choices. You're thinking before you eat with those foods that you don't really feel great after eating. Ask yourself questions proactively like, how would I feel after I eat this? Am I okay with that? Or is there maybe something else that I would enjoy just as much, but that would be more in line with how I want to feel? So for example, maybe you want a gluten-free pizza instead of a traditional pizza. Maybe you want coconut milk ice cream instead of traditional ice cream. If you want to learn more about how you can make confident choices and feel good about those choices around food, shoot me a PM and we'll set up a free mini session.